Good morning children. Today we shall learn about equivalent rational numbers. As we know, a rational number is defined as a number that can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. Thus, the rational number includes the integers and the fractions too. We have already learnt about equivalent fractions like 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 are equivalent fractions as their values are same. If we multiply both the numerator and the denominator of 1 by 2 by 2 we get 2 by 4 and if we divide both the numerator and the denominator of 2 by 4 by 2 we get 1 by 2. So we see if we divide or multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number the value of the fraction remains the same and we get an equivalent fraction. Now we also know any rational number can be represented as a ratio or a fraction p by q. So if we divide or multiply both the numerator and the denominator of p by q by the same number say m we would get an equivalent fraction. Like here 2 by 3 is a rational number. If we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5 we get 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10. 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. So we get 10 by 15. Hence 10 by 15 is an equivalent rational number of 2 by 3 and their values are same. As their values are same and both are rational numbers we say they are equivalent rational numbers. Does negative rational numbers too have an equivalent rational number? Yes, obviously. Here, minus 2 by 3 is a negative rational number. If we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5, the value remains unchanged as we get minus 2 multiplied by 5 which is equal to minus 10, 3 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 15, so we get minus 10 by 15. Thus we see minus 2 by 3 and minus 10 by 15 are equivalent rational numbers. So we divided both the numerator and the denominator of minus 10 by 15 by 5 and we got minus 2 by 3. Now 2 by 3 and 10 by 15 are equivalent rational numbers. But what about minus 2 by 3 and 10 by minus 15? In the first rational number, the numerator is negative and in the second rational number, the denominator is negative. Are these two same? We just multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number to get an equivalent rational number. So if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator of minus 2 by 3 by minus 5, what do we get? We get in the numerator minus 2 multiplied by minus 5 which is equal to 10 as the product of two negative numbers is positive and Coming to the denominator, the product of positive and a negative integer is negative integer. So, 3 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to minus 15. And thus we get an equivalent rational number which is 10 by minus 15. So, we see minus 2 by 3 and 10 by minus 15 are equivalent rational numbers. On the same lines, we can say minus 2 by 3 and minus 10 by 15 and 10 by minus 15 are 
equivalent rational numbers. Here, minus 10 by 15 is equal to 10 by minus 15. If we multiply both the numerator and the denominator of minus 10 by 15 by minus 1, what do we get? We get 10 by minus 15. So we see in the negative rational number, either the numerator or the denominator is a negative integer. Thus we conclude while writing a negative rational number, we can put the negative sign either with the numerator or with the denominator. As in both the cases, the value would be same. Same way, minus 4 by 6 is equal to 4 by minus 6. Minus 4 by 6 is equal to 8 by minus 12 if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by minus 2. Now how to verify the equivalent rational numbers? Is minus 2 by 3 equal to 10 by minus 15? Here we can use the property of cross products or cross multiplication. Check if the product of the numerator of the first rational number and the denominator of second rational number is equal to the product of the numerator of the second rational number and the denominator of first rational number hence the name property of cross products. So minus 2 multiplied by minus 15 should be equal to 10 multiplied by 3. Minus 2 multiplied by minus 15 is equal to 30. 10 multiplied by 3 is equal to 30. 30 is equal to 30 hence we can say minus 2 by 3 and 10 by minus 15 are equivalent rational numbers. To summarize what we learned today, how to get an equivalent rational number? If p by q is a rational number, then multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number but not 0 to get an equivalent rational number. Thus here, m can be any number but not 0. And how to check if two rational numbers are equivalent or not? Here we use the property of cross products or cross multiplication to check this. If a by b and c by d are two equivalent rational numbers then a multiplied by d should be equal to c multiplied by b. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.